Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tega here. And in today's video, I'll be letting you know the things you need for NYSE orientation camp. So if you follow the channel, you know a couple of weeks back, I finished from the orientation camp in AKT. I even did a vlog on it, like a day in, life, a day in my life in NYSE orientation camp. I'll link it up here in the description box. So if you are preparing to go you know, for NYSE camp, I feel you should watch that. So you have an idea of what to expect when you get into camp. So basically I'm doing this video so you know, if you're going for camp, you know the things you need for NYSE orientation camp. Because honestly, if I had watched a video like this, or if I had gotten like a breeze of things, the way I'm going to explain to you, definitely my camp stay would have been a whole, whole, whole lot better. So yeah, that's why I'm bringing this video to you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to be breaking this video into two segments. The first one is documentation or documents needed. And the second one is personal effects. So under documents needed, you need your school ID card. Very important, you ask for original registration. Then you need your statement of results or notification of results or your school certificate because they will also ask for that when you are doing your registration. Then you need your green card. So basically your green card is a data page on your NYC portal that you have to print out. It just has the basic information about yourself. So you need that also during registration. Then you need your call-up letter. Your call-up letter basically shows you this, your state of deployment as well as your orientation camp. It says the name of the orientation camp. So you need to print that as well. Then you need your medical report. Your medical report basically is just a certificate that shows that you are fit to go for camp, that you have passed all the checks and all the tests and you can go for your fit to partake in physical activities in camp. So basically to get that, all you need to do is to go to a hospital and tell them you want to get a medical report and they run some tests for you and give you your certificate. Then you need, like I said earlier, you need that for this thing, for registration. Then you also need your passport photographs. This is very, very important. Don't just have like four, just to be on the safe side, have between eight to 12. I'm coming back on that. I'll, talk, I'll, I'll tell you the reason why I say you should have between eight to 12. And last but not the least, on the documents, you should have like a clear file, like a waterproof file, so you can put all these documents in them. Then apart from the originals of these documents, it's important to have like, make like five photocopies of each because they will ask for, you know, copies to save you time and money. So for foreign students, I think the requirements are a bit different. I don't know the exact documents, but I know if you're like a Nigerian, if you're a local student, these are the documents you need. So now we're on personal effects. And um, well, this was the part that really dealt with me during my NYC orientation camp stay. But yeah, going right into it. So before I went to camp, a couple of days, not even a couple of days, like the day before I came to camp, I just concluded my you know, graduation ceremony. It was a four day event and it was very, very hectic. It was one of my best videos on the channel. So if you haven't seen it, check it up. I'll link it up here and in the description box. So immediately after you know the graduation ceremony, I just had one day to get home and the next day I was rushing back to camp. Honestly, when I was going to camp, I didn't think I was going to stay in camp. I just thought I was going to get there, give an excuse and they would allow me to go, but or more, <laughs> it wasn't like that. So that gives you an idea of how I came. Like I didn't come with anything. I just came with an empty box with I think just two or three casual clothes and that was it. But when you get, normally when you get to the NYSE camp after registration, they give you your NYC kit. So your NYC kit basically is made up of your khaki pants, your khaki jacket like I'm wearing, then your NYC crested shirt, and also a pair of orange jungle boots, the white socks, I think two pairs of the white socks with these green lines on them. Then also um, your NYC face cap. That's like the first uniform. Then the second one, they give you two pairs of white shirts and two pairs of white shorts as well as white and um, canvas or white sneakers to wear so yes you also need like a very very secure padlock not those common ones that you can easily hack that have small keys something that is very very strong and secure so with that and a medium-sized box the type i recommended you are good to go you know that your stuff will be safe and secure in camp and the next thing you need to get you need to get shorts those white shorts so they're only going to give you two like i mentioned earlier and trust me Omar, two won't do you justice like two will definitely not be enough because of course we have seven days in a week and most of the time you're always on the field marching doing one activity or the other so there's not really 
much time, enough time to like wash. So I feel you should get two, two of those shorts, making four. Then get extra white tees, like you can get like five to seven. Reason being, they give you two. And those two, the quality isn't the best. At least the one I got in the camp I got, it wasn't really, I couldn't use them, I couldn't use the two I got. So I had to get new ones from, you know, my market. So I feel you should get like five, just have five of that at least, so you can have like enough white shirts to wear. Then also get socks, white socks. Just get as many as possible. It can be plain white socks, it can be the ones with the green lines. Just get as many socks as possible because socks are like the easiest thing to steal in camp if you wash and hang them online. So just get as many as possible that you're comfortable with. Then also get those white shoes, the white sneakers. Reason being, they may not give you like your size in camp. And preferably, you should get those, you know, rubber ones. I'll put the picture here. I put the picture of most of the items on the screen. So you get, you should get those rubber ones, those like elastic ones, because those ones are easier to wear and wash than the normal like material or leather ones that you have to actually like scrub. These ones are just very easy, just one or two brushes and they're white again. So the main reason why you need to get all these items or get extra of these items I just mentioned is one, because of quality. Normally the quality you get at they give you in the NYS orientation camp. Or judging from my own experience, so from what I've heard from other people, quality is not that fantastic. So because of quality, you probably need to get these items by yourself. Second, because of size, there are how many people coming to camp? So they won't necessarily have the time to be selecting your size for you, especially if you end up going late like myself. So because of getting the right size, so you don't get like really baggy clothes or clothes that don't fit you generally and you're not comfortable in, just get your own when you're going to camp. Then, thirdly, because of the prices. So basically, there's a place where you can get this particular stuff, you know, better quality and all. That's called Mami Market. If you watch, like I said, if you watch my um, a day in life in NYC orientation camp, you see how the market looks like. And obviously, it varies depending on the camp you're in, but just have a general idea where you can get, just have a general idea of the camp, how the camp looks, and how you can easily get anything ranging from food to clothing items. So, like I said, if you haven't watched that, watch that video. It'll be linked in the description box. Below. So yes, in Mami Market, because it's more like a monopoly, the prices are like high. They know that we can't go out of camp. There's no place we can get these other materials because once you're in camp, you're in camp. You can't go out without like a proper exit. And that has to be like a serious issue, maybe like medical exit and stuff. So you can't go out of camp. So you are there. So these people, these Mami Market people know that they're like a monopoly. So they hike the prices and it's just very, very, very unrealistic. So that's why, that's the major reason why I advise you to go and buy your own stuff before going to camp. So you don't have to spend, you know, extra money on necessary funds getting this stuff at camp. Like I said, I wasn't prepared at all. I didn't come with any of these things. So I had to spend so much money at Mami Market, which could have been prevented if I watch a video like this. So you guys should thank me. Just, just say thank you in the comment section now and give this video a thumbs up. So the last reason why I'm telling you to get this stuff or to get extra of this stuff is because of washing. Like I said earlier, there are a lot of activities during camp. We hardly like have time to just chill on our own and just relax. Because it's either you're on parade ground marching, it's either you have manual activities, obstacle course activities, like um, drama presentation, all these things. So when you don't have time to wash, you have you know extra that you can fall back on. Also, while going to camp, you need a permanent marker. Reason being, it's advisable for you to like, you know, mark your clothing items with, you know, your state code, your number, the number that they're going to give you when you get to cap your registration number. So it's advisable for you to mark all your clothing items with that, especially your NYC, you know, cap. Because <laughs> they only give one cap, and if you misplace your cap, in my camp, they are very strict about it. They punish you if you're not wearing your face cap. So it's advisable for you to get it and just write it at the back side of the cap, I'll, I'll insert a video of what I mean. I'll show you my own cap where I wrote my own number. So you insert it on the cap. So it's not, it doesn't get stolen. Or even if it gets stolen or in the spaces, you can easily find it or retrieve it when it's lost. And apart from marker, you also need a fanny pack or a waist pouch. So you need this because most of the time in NYC camp, you are mobile, you're moving from one place to another. And you just need something to, you know, have like your personal belongings, like your wallet, your cash, your ATM cards with you so that they don't get lost on the space. Even your phone, like when you're matching, you can always put it inside your fanny pack or your waist pouch, so it's easier. Then I advise you to take like two casual clothes. 
family that you can wear like on Sundays or you know on Fridays if you're a Muslim. So yeah, so casual clothes when you're going to camp. So while you're in camp, bear in mind that you also need a bottle. Be it like I keep saying on parade ground, you'll be on ground like for hours marching or doing one activity or other. So it's good to have a bottle in handy. So you can always have water with you everywhere you go. So if you know you're not going to, you know, be getting food from like camp kitchen and you'll be using mommy, then it's not necessary. But just to be on the safe side, it's good to have like a plate of bowl that you can always fall back on whenever you need it. And of course, a spoon. Then another very important thing you need is provision. Especially if you're not going to be eating from camp kitchen. You need provisions too, you know. So you don't have to spend so much at mommy market. And so you, you just... And so whenever you're hungry, you can always have something to fall back on. So I advise you get cereal. Exactly, get cereal. The more reason why you need a bowl and a spoon. So get cereal, get milk, get sugar, and then get those small, small biscuits or chocolates or even sweets that you can, you know, put inside your fanny pack when you're going for matching. So anytime you're like exhausted and you can't quickly like take a quick detour to mommy market, you can always, you know, just bring out a snack and snack on it while you're famished. Yeah, very important. So then another thing that I totally forgot to take was a bed sheet, bed spread. So you need a bed spread to spread on the mattress when they give you, and also a pillowcase. And also you need something that you can use to cover your body, cover cloth. And you can also get a mosquito net. In my room, I saw quite a, quite a number of people that hung up mosquito nets so they don't get like beaten by mosquitoes or fall sick. Like to me, I wasn't ready for that because in the night, in my own camp, it got really, really hot and staying under a net again, it wasn't just convenient or comfortable for me. So I didn't, I was graceful that I didn't take a mosquito net. But if you know you are like prone to like, you know, getting sick easily, it's advisable you get a mosquito net as well. Then again, you also need like bathroom slippers or doorknob slippers, because when you're going to have your bath, you need, obviously you need something you wear, you wear in water. So get bathroom slippers, doorknob slippers, get a touch light because I always used to wake up very early to take my bath and Around that time, there won't be like lights or like security lights. So you have to use like a torch so you can see where you're going and all that kind of thing. Then you need, it's not compulsory, but you could get like a power bank. Because first of all, there are no more sockets in the rooms. There's a place at Mami Market that you can go and charge. It's 15 naira like per charge. It's not that expensive, so you can just rely on that. But if you know you're someone that uses your phone in lots, maybe to take snaps, take videos and all, you can get a power bank and keep it in your fanny pack so you don't run out of battery at anytime, especially during lectures when you get bored and you need to like, you know, just chat away or play games. Not that I'm advising that. <laughs> but yeah, get the power bank if you're that kind of person. Then of course your toiletries. It's very, very important that you get tissue paper, preventive tissue paper, because the toilets in my camp, they were not like in the best condition. So get enough tissue paper that you can, you know, spread on like probably, <laughs> it was a pit toilet. So get enough tissue paper that you can spread around the platform that's there for you to like, you know, squat on. Then also get disinfectants. So you probably disinfect first, then just use tissue paper, like as many layers as possible, then also put tissue paper inside. So you don't get any kind of like infections and all. Then also your, you know, bathing supplies, your personal toiletries, like, you know, bathing soap, your sponge, your toothbrush, your toothpaste. Of course, if you are traveling anywhere, those are things you need to carry. But the reason why I'm emphasizing on this is for you to get, you know, a toilet bag, because a toilet bag is very, very important. <laughs> like when I was coming, I didn't think, of a toilet bag, so I have to end up putting my stuff inside the nylon. So don't forget a toilet bag. The toilet bag is very like important, so you can just have all those things and they're not exposed to like you know insects or whatever. So just have a toilet bag to keep them safe and locked away. Then you need like detergent or bar soap, you know, for washing your clothes and all, so you don't have to spend money at mommy market. And lastly, as regards to toiletries, you need bleach. You need a bleaching agent that's like Jake or Hypo because we wear white every day, white shirts, white shorts, and they may get dirty, you may sit down on the floor. So it's just advisable for you to have bleach so your whites stay white. So we finally come to the end of this video, but just before we go, there's one more thing you need to take to camp. If at all you don't take any of these other things that I mentioned, like I'm leaning down for you, this is like the most important thing. Like you thank me when you're going to camp, get sunscreen. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Like I said, I was rushing, so I didn't take sunscreen. And when I got out of camp, I'm sure I got five shades darker. You can imagine people were asking me that, ah, guy, you got really dark. So please take, take sunscreen, especially if you are going to like a state where, we know Nigeria is naturally hot, but if you are going to a state where like the sun is intense, like Ekiti, 
just have sunscreen use it every morning before you step out like for your daily activities sunscreen is very 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 important we officially come to the end of this video i really really hope you found it helpful if you did let me know in the comment section if there are things you, you haven't gotten yet or things that you surely get because of this video let me know in the comment section and for all those who are going to camp i wish you a very very amazing stay at camp camp is actually really fun like i said watch my camp video you see how interesting it is camp is actually very fun just go there make the best of it and stay out of trouble follow their rules and regulations and trust me you have an amazing time you get to meet new people different people from different backgrounds and there's nothing as good as networking so take advantage of your camp stay and just have the best camp stay ever so if you did like this video please 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 give it a thumbs up drop a comment let me know what part you found most useful and most importantly, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, 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 please do subscribe to the channel. And binge watch on our other videos. There's premium content in this channel that you can always fall back on. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.